Now, there are different, different designers seem to be different parts of a palette, as it were. There's the Desmond Healy, there's a Susan Benson, there's a Peter Hartwell. There's so many, I mean, there's a world of wonderful designers. Mm -hmm. How do you, when you have a script that you're going to direct, how do you come to a designer? I know Astrid is a, is a favorite, but do you ever go to other designers? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I'm working with John Penway at the moment, and uh, we did the same thing. I, I went to his house. He had read the play. I had read the play. I said, and I, I sort of opened it, and I said, it seems to me that this is important, and it seems to me this is important, and we don't have the money to have water. Again, the, the old water uh, bugaboo. We don't have money to have water, um, but we need to know there is water there. We have four locations. We don't have the money, nor indeed do we want to have four specific locations. Which, is, which play are we talking about? It's, it's, um, it's of Mice and Men in the Tom Patterson Theatre. And we, we don't have the budget to build four different sets, nor indeed would you want to in that space. It's a space I know, I know quite well because we've done a lot of shows in there. So what we need are four different locations that are done by, I said to John, your imagination and your genius and your vision, along with Bonnie Beechers, who's going to light the show, so that we can see that we're in a completely different place and we have the atmosphere and the feel and the smell and the sound of a completely different place. But in fact, we're not in a completely different place. How would you do that? So then, a few days later, he brought me some sketches, and they were of mostly of wood on an angle, going different ways. The, the, there's a there's a there's a, a scene that takes place beside a river with trees. There's a scene that takes place in a bunkhouse. There's a scene in a barn in a hay that has in a hayloft, and there's a scene in a uh, kind of shanty lean-to beside the barn. Steinbeck talks about the sun coming through the slats in the, in the barn wall and uh, the windows in the bunkhouse and the light coming through the trees in the scene beside the river. So John took those images of the light coming through to make then slats of wood separated so that the light could come through them and the slats of wood, I believe, although we're not there yet, will become different things. He's right. beginning to think about how you change and shift slats of wood so that they can become a wall, or that they can become trees, or they can become uh, right. some kind of a, a, a space, uh, so you know you're in a different place, but they still create the ambiance uh, for the light to come through, and all that sort of stuff that designers can do. That. I that I can't. They're wonderful. Oh, they're amazing. 